Hey team, we're going to deploy a static Next.js app with Cloudflare pages. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Cloudflare pages is a new service from internet giant Cloudflare that allows you to easily deploy Jamstack apps or static websites out to the web. By connecting your GitHub account and syncing up a repository, you're able to build that application automatically through Cloudflare pages and deploy it out to the web. And to test this out, we're going to use Next.js, which is a React framework that allows us to easily spin up new projects for the web. Particularly, we're going to use Create Next App, which is just an easy way to easily spin up that new app right from the terminal. So to get started, we can head over to our terminal and we can run yarn create next app and we can specify my Cloudflare page or really whatever directory you want to create this project in and we can hit enter. And once it's done, we can CD into that directory and we can run yarn dev which is going to start up the development server, which if we open it up right in our browser, we can see that we already have a new Next.js app. If you open this project up inside of your favorite text editor, you can see some of the code and navigate around for our new Next.js app, but we're not yet going to mess around with this too much. We're gonna head straight to GitHub where we're gonna create a new repository. So we can head on over to GitHub where if we go to the top right of the page, we see this plus sign where we can create our new repository. And once that page loads, we have a few configuration things we can put in. I'm going to put for my repository name, my Cloudflare page, similar to the project name I used. I'm also going to keep it as public as I don't mind if anybody sees this, but if you don't want anyone to see it, you can select private. As for initializing the repository, we already have a repository created locally, so we're not going to add any of these files. So we can just go ahead and click create repository. And once it finishes loading, we can see that we have a new repository. So let's add our files. So we're pretty much going to follow exactly what GitHub says here for initializing a new repository, but we're going to skip closer to the end. So we already have a Git repository because Next.js starts us off with one. We also have files and we also have a commit where if we type git log, we can see that first commit. So we don't need to worry about that part. We also can see that we're already on our main branch, so we don't need to run that. But what we do want to do is add our remote origin, which I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. And then we can push this out to GitHub, where once that loads, we're going to be able to refresh this page. And we see that we now have our repository with all of our files. So next, we actually want to create our Cloudflare project. So I'm going to head over to cloudflare.com. Where if this is your first time here, you probably want to sign up. It's a free account, or you can just log in where I'm actually already logged in with my account. So it's taking me right to the dashboard. So once I'm here though, we can see in the right sidebar that we have the option for pages as well as some other services from Cloudflare, but we're particularly interested in pages. So let's go there. And now since we don't have any projects yet, we're not going to see anything, but we can go ahead and click create new project where the first thing it's going to ask us to do is connect our GitHub account. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and click that connect button where it's going to take us over to GitHub and we're going to want to authorize ourselves. We're here. I just want to select my username, not any of my workspace names. And I'm going to tell it that I want it to be on all repositories or you optionally have the ability to only select it to apply to some repositories. But I'm going to keep it as all for now and I'm going to click install and authorize and it'll take me back to Cloudflare where now I can see that I have all of my repositories here where I can connect them up to GitHub. Now, particularly, I want to select the one that I was just working with, which is my Cloudflare page. So I'm going to select that repository. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and click begin setup. And once there, we can see that we have another few options that we want to add here. The project name, I'm going to leave it as is just so it's easy to remember between the project name on my local file system, as well as my GitHub address. That way we can just keep the project name the same. For the production branch, we're going to keep it as main or whatever your main default branch is that you want to deploy from. But then if we scroll down to build settings, the first thing we can do is select a framework preset, where for, in our case, we're going to use Next.js. So let's select that. And we can see that the build command is already predefined. Now, what's actually going to happen is it's going to go through and it's going to first build Next.js for our project, but it then is also going to export Next.js. We'll go over that in a second here, but the issue is Next.js by default doesn't export into static files. So this does that for us, so we don't have to actually worry about it. And it'll take our static sites, which will be located in this output directory, and it'll deploy those files. 
So finally, once we're done with those default settings, we can click save and deploy. And once the page loads, we can see that it's now in progress and it's going to start going through a few steps where it's going to spin up a new environment. It's going to clone down our Git repository that we connected. It's going to build our application, kind of like what we just discussed before about building the app and then exporting the app. But then finally, it's going to deploy that to Cloudflare's global network, which is essentially meaning it's going to host it and then deploy it so it's going to be available for the web. Now, since that's going to take a few minutes to deploy, let's head over to our terminal and see what happens when we actually run that export command. Now, we don't actually have access to run next export directly from our terminal because Next.js is actually installed as a dependency. But what we can do is if we open up our text editor, we can head over to package.json and then inside of the build command, we can update this to be next build and next export which is exactly what it looked like inside of our Cloudflare build project settings. So back inside of our terminal, we can now run yarn build. Once it's done, we can actually scroll up and see exactly what's happening. So we can see that it's creating a new build. It's going to also generate static pages and optimize the pages, where in terms of the actual pages that we have, we really only have our homepage and a 404 page. We can also see there's an API route, but that's a serverless function, which doesn't get exported statically. But if we look down at this legend, we can see exactly that, where this Lambda symbol represents the server, but this open empty circle represents static, which we can see for our homepage and our 404 page. So that means those files, as well as all the different assets for JS and CSS are going to be exported to the out directory, which is where Cloudflare pages is going to deploy from. And we can actually also see that by going to the out directory inside of our folder and we can see these static files that will represent our pages. And since a few minutes have already passed by, we can see that our deploy status is now a success. And if we open up this new page inside of our browser, we can see exactly what we saw on our local, which is our new Next.js site. We can see that it's deployed to pages.dev, which is Cloudflare pages domain name. If we go back to the deployment details page and we scroll down, we can see that we see exactly what we saw on our local computer where it's going to go through and it's going to build those files. But then once it's done, it's going to take those files inside of the out directory and it's going to deploy it to Cloudflare's global CDN. Now, technically we're done and we deployed our website, but another cool feature with Cloudflare pages is anytime somebody creates a pull request into our project, it's automatically going to create a new deploy preview, which allows us to see those changes live on the web anytime a change set is presented. To test this out, we can head back over to our terminal and our code editor, and I'm going to first create a new branch where I'm going to say git checkout minus b my new branch. And then inside of my code, I'm going to go to my index.js file and I'm simply going to change the H1 or the title to my Cloudflare project. And I can go ahead and I can add that to my new branch, git add minus A, git commit minus M, adding new changes to title. And if I push that out, we can see that once it's finished, I actually get a create pull request link directly in my terminal. Now, if we click that, we can see that it's going to open up a new pull request for us, which is exactly what we want in order to test this change. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create pull request. And once it finishes loading the page, we can already see that Cloudflare Pages is running a check where it's building our site. We can even see that if we go back to our dashboard for our current project, we can see that there's a new preview environment being spun up for our branch name, and it's currently in progress. But once it finishes deploying, we can see directly right on our pull request that Cloudflare now added a comment where it says deploy successful. It even provides a preview URL where if we open that in a new tab, we can see that our new Next.js project with our new title change is live and ready to preview right in our browser. Cloudflare Pages is a great easy way to host and deploy static web apps. While there definitely is a lot of similar solutions out there, it's great to see this coming straight from Cloudflare, who already is doing a lot of great work in the web world. What's your favorite service for deploying static websites? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.